Hi all, welcome to another video session on looking at desktop automation through robot framework. So today I'm going to unveil a great automation library which is called robot framework desktop automation library which uses SQLe. But this is an awesome uh, a library so you can unleash the full potential of it. So I'm going to introduce it to you all in this session. So first of all let's go and launch the library so this is you can get it in python org site robot framework desktop library the latest version 101 and it uses it's based on sequely x the new desktop automation engine so let's look at uh, how we can start on it so what i have done is i have done a pip installation pip install robot framework dash desktop library so once you do this like pip install it's the install package in python and if you enter it gets installed so already my in my machine it is installed so then let's start with write let's let's do a kind of uh, Let's start with write and do an automation scenario. So I will start CMD, go to my Python folder, scripts folder. We'll proceed to the scripts folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call write the ID for robot framework. Write.py there you are it's up so what I've done is I've gone and I have added the SQLe library which has been already installed in uh, lib site packages so what you have to do is you have to go and browse click on browse and what you have to do is you have to copy this the C Python lib site packages that is the path and paste it and click enter so we will be proceeded to the site packages and what you have to do is there's a folder called SQLe library just simply add it okay you will just add some file here and just backspace and delete that file just keep like this and add it so you can add the SQLe library once you have added this go to your add a test case go to file go to your project which is already added you can add a new project and add you don't you we need the auto IT library also so this can be also done in a pip installation to bring up the application to run the application I have used auto IT library I am not using selenium that is for my first test case so auto IT library also can be easily downloaded to download auto IT library what we had to do is so what you had to do is to download the auto IT library you simply go to python pypi python.org and search for robot framework auto IT library this is the latest 1.2.1 you have just have to click on this and get it downloaded once you have downloaded this you have to extract it to your C drive so I have robot framework auto auto IT library 1.2.1 extracted to my C drive and what you guys had to do is you guys had to go and extract and install this in your scripts folder of python 2.7 scripts folder so what you have to do is i am going to go to the lib uh, the folder which has the library files which i have downloaded and extracted there we go then we check that we have the setup.py so what we are doing uh, what i'm going to do is python is already installed python setup py install this command will actually 
go and install the version so currently I had closed this right okay let's run this again there you go so be sure to close your ride robot framework ID application and there you go your auto IT life is installed and also please make sure that you go and inst uh, go and install the the auto IT setup which you can find you can Google and click on auto IT and go to auto scripts so you can go to download section so you can go and download auto IT go to downloads and you can download the full version the latest version and install it that is 3.3.145 so you should have auto IT also installed there you go auto IT has been installed then what you have to do is auto IT is used to invoke the application so I am opening up right again so my second test case first test case is about selenium so the second test case is of desktop automation so what I am done is I have called the run method of in auto IT to bring up my application auto IT run method there you go right so it brings up the calculator and what I have done is I am waiting till the application the calculator application window gets activated so I'm going to add a kind of explicit weight and I have captured the calculator title so you can do this so I'll just bring up the old calculator application and there's a auto IT there is a window information spy that is there so you can drag and drop it and you can see that calculated title has been taken so you can copy paste this title the title here and you can copy paste it and you can easily add the title so thereafter I'm calling the SQLite library that is the, the desktop robot frame desktop library SQLite library dot desktop dot click so once you have installed it in your uh, library section as I told you earlier you can simply call this SQLite library desktop dot click and what you have to do is you have to bring up the application the calculator and use the snipping tool and capture the necessary elements that you want want to take want to click so I have captured the seven button and you can save it in a folder and what you have to do is you have to call the respective image of the element where you want to perform the click so I have done that it's in my alloc folder so I have uh, captured eight nine equal sign and plus so after capturing those we have to simply call SQLite library dot click for each respective element so I have done this so let's run it and see whether we can run it successfully 8 plus 9 equals 17 so that's done the test case is successfully passing and I have added an SQLite library asset to check whether this can this particular image the answer 17 is displayed in the calculator so I hope you guys got something from this video if you like this video please put a like in the LinkedIn post thanks